And good evening, Warrior fans, and welcome to Brex Olympia Stadium for tonight's game between your St. Michael Warriors and the visiting Plaquemine Green Devils. We are here for this District 6-4A matchup once again as your Warriors are coming in riding a four-game win streak to start the season 3-0 in District, getting ready to see if we can make it 5-0 here at home facing the district rival Plaquem and Green Devils coming in with their 3 and 1 record 3 and 0 on the season in district looking to try to capture the lead here in our 64A district but tonight the Warriors are sitting in their red uniforms ready to go the brand new reds we are here in the Todd Fruge press box and joining me as always is my partner in crime Class of 2014, former St. Michael quarterback, Jeff Vaccaro. Jeff, it is a beautiful night for football, and we are ready to roll, man. Yeah, absolutely. It's a beautiful night for football and excited to be out here. I kind of was texting back and forth with you a little bit today. Just super fired up to be here. Couldn't sleep last night. Been thinking about it all day. A lot of the alumni are fired up. So uh, it, it, exciting opportunity here for the Warriors to try to go five and out. And so w tonight, we're going to take a look back real quick at last week's action as the Warriors took on Broadmoor over at Broadmoor in another district matchup. They defeated Broadmoor 57 to six. I mean, Jeff, it was a it was a dominant game defensively. Uh, Broadmoor scored their lone touchdown because they were they got the ball inside the 15 on a on a forced turnover, and you know the defense themselves forced three turnovers and it was just it was just lights out for for the St. Michael defense under Chuck Guidry. Yeah, they were playing fast last week and like you said three turnovers able able to kind of force ourselves into being plus on the turnover differential. That's going to be huge tonight especially uh probably even more so than last week whenever you know possessions are going to really matter tonight against a good Plaquemine team. So, uh excited to see Chuck Guidry's defense come out and hopefully play fast. And so looking Looking at last week again, uh, the offense kind of got off to a little bit of a slow start. Um, you know, they, they it took them a, a, a little while to kind of get rolling and, and kind of get cooking. Um, but they, they wound up kind of finding their finding their footing there uh, and, and were, were able to, to put the ball in the end zone and rack up 57 points and, and really kind of kind of put it to them. Yeah, I think the offense looked great last week. You had – uh, another great performance by Preston Centino, not only on the ground but through the air. And uh, John Martinez looked great. You had some wide receivers really coming alive and getting involved in the offense. Um, really what you like to see kind of heading into the, the, the bulk of your schedule, the meat of your schedule, is, is being able to see, you know, four or five playmakers on offense kind of really come alive in this middle stretch of the season. Well, the other thing we saw, too, kind of a uh – kind of a bit of a trend that we've seen pretty much all year is the special teams dominated too. I mean, we had another block punt for a touchdown. I mean, we've seen several block punts this year. I think that's what, number th – we've had three return for touchdown this year. I mean, like, you don't know – you don't you don't see – that. that's not something that happens every day. I mean, you get a dominant defensive performance when you when you get those special teams touchdowns and plus, a, you know, a kickoff return again, you know. So the special teams for the, for the Warriors has been something that's that's really been – really been something else and has really added to added to to, to being able to, to get to this point where we are 4-0. Yeah, and, and not just the return game, but also the kicking game. William Mondello, we've talked about it all year long, his ability to put the ball in the end zone, in the end zone for a kickoff has been absolutely massive for us. Um, and so, you know, I think I think between that and the return game, we've looked great. The, the field goal game has looked great. Uh, so excited to to see us really perform in all three phases tonight. And Centino last week talking about some statistics. You know, Centino was 11 for 13 for 161 yards and four touchdowns. He had seven carries for 33 yards and put another score. So he accounted for five touchdowns last week. John Martinez, another 100-yard game, 22 carries for 109 yards and a touchdown. Anthony DiStefano, three catches for 67 yards and two touchdowns. And not one of those guys was what we picked as the play of, player of the week because player of the week on offense was Johnny McCarty, who had four catches for 63 yards, but two fantastic touchdown catches. One 
on the, the left side where he kind of adjusted to a fade pass and on the, 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 the second one over on the right side where he just literally went up and mossed somebody. I mean, it was <laughs> – those were two of the best catches I've seen in, in quite some time uh, for, a, for a high school football player. Yeah, Johnny McCarty looked great. He's a guy that we've known can do it physically and, and athletically all year long. But to see him kind of have his breakout game for 2023 I think was awesome to see. And like you alluded to, Coach, two fantastic touchdown catches. Body control, adjustment in air, uh, being aware of where, you know, having a relationship with your quarterback to know when the ball's coming in the air, be able to look up, ball's there, adjust it, make a catch, touchdown. Great job by Johnny McCarty. Really the Warriors receiving core as a whole, but Johnny McCarty, great breakout game. Yeah, and Grayson Boudreaux was our defensive player of the game. He had nine total tackles, and he was in the backfield all night, and he really kind of set the tone for the defense, just constantly just just pitching a tent in the backfield, uh, harassing the, the Broadmoor offense all night. Um, and so looking ahead to this week, Plaquemine, man. I mean, this is a team that we've seen a bunch over the course of the last several years. You know, I've been around St. Michael for, uh, for for 12 years now, and I've seen Plaquemine on the field play in a Saint Mi- playing a St. Michael football team all 12 years. I mean, uh, this is a team that last year we lost 48 to 16. They finished nine and one last year, but they were upset as an eight seed uh, in the first round of the playoffs by a 25 seed in, in Jennings. Um, and so this is a team in, in the Green Devils that has gotten off to a three and one start. Here in 2000, uh, 2023, they beat Estruma last week 20-15. to 15. Uh, They also have wins in district over Tara and McKinley. But this is kind of interesting for a Plaquemine team. They're, on, they're actually on their fourth coach in, in three years because they had a, had a coach. He was sort of halfway through the year. He, he left. They had an interim coach. Then last year they had a new coach. He's now gone. And now this year they've got another new coach. So, you know, this is a team who – you know, you, you, you're, you really don't know what to expect. You know they have athletes, but you just don't know what to expect from their schemes. It, it, it looks like they're trying to run a spread uh, from watching their film. They've used as many as three quarterbacks. You know what they say about three quarterbacks? Well, you know what they say about two quarterbacks? They say they say you can't – you, you know, if you have two quarterbacks, you have none. But if you have, th- have three quarterbacks, I mean, really, what, what, do you, what do you have there, you know? I mean, you just you, – you can't really – you can't really distinguish, uh, you know, and, and really kind of have a guy get into a, a really good rhythm with, with three guys back there. So, you know, it would be interesting to kind of see what they what they throw out here uh, on offense uh, with, with rotating those quarterbacks. And, you know, you know, you can comment about, you know, being a quarterback and getting in a rhythm and, and not being, you know, or not being able to get in a rhythm because you're not in there all the time, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, it's very important for quarterbacks to kind of, be able to get drives under their belts. A lot of times, these two quarterback systems, you see it in college uh, a good bit. And and I think just, you know, getting a drive or two drives and then coming out for a drive or two drive, it doesn't really allow you to build a lot of confidence. You don't get to see a lot of plays. You don't get to see the defense and really get into the flow of the football game. And so I I think that's going to be a challenge for Blackman tonight playing two, maybe even three uh, quarterbacks. And so they're defensively, they come out uh, running at 3-4. They're kind of, they're pretty big. They're pretty fast. Uh, they put, like, put a lot of pressure on uh, on the, the opposing offense and, and really try to get after you. But we'll be back here in just a minute. We're going to take a quick timeout. This is the Warrior Broadcast Network. We'll be back. Let's see how that works. And so we are back here at Brex Olympia Stadium. And our kind of preview here of uh, what's going on uh, for tonight's game, uh, looking at this, looking at, at the St. Michael Warriors last week, as we said, they defeated they defeated the Broadmoor Buccaneers last week, 57-6. to uh, They're 4-0. 3-0 in district. This is the first time since 2014 that we've we've been at this at this point, you know, and and trying to get over 
the big hurdle of Plaquemine. It's been a tough one. Uh, looking at talking to Coach Leger this week, I didn't realize this. We're one in seventeen all time versus Plaquemine. That one win came back in 2019, and, and you know, you know from your days of playing exactly what it was like playing Plaquemine. Yeah, I mean, Pla- Plaquemine's a very physical football team. Uh, always got a ton of athletes. Uh, you know, previously they had they had a long tenured coach who was really building a program that was really had a great system. They were running the triple option back when we were there, but historically a great program uh, at the 4A level. And so um, I think what you're going to see tonight is, is a team that's that's very athletic, that's very physical, that's very fast. And, and you know, I think the, the Warriors are going to have to kind of match that energy tonight. This is going to be by far, I think, the most physical football game that we've played this year. Uh, and I think the Warriors are ready for that. You know, kind of looking at – uh, Coach Zach Lege had a great article out in the Advocate this week, and, and you know he he understands the gravity of this. He understands how big of a football game this is, and I think he's looking forward to the challenge uh, for his team. And I think the senior leadership on this team is is really excited and ready to go to war tonight. Oh yeah, talking to the coaches uh, this week, I, I think they I think they really do think that their their guys are ready uh, ready to go to go uh, out there and, and, and go to battle. You know, uh, to for lack of a better term, um, it starts tonight. This is the toughest stretch of the season. We have Plaquemine in the night next week. We have homecoming. That's another, uh, or n- rather, next week we travel up to West Feliciana, and then the week after that is homecoming against uh, McKinley. And so those are probably the three best uh, teams in our district. Uh, but it's time to prove ourselves on the field. It's time to silence the doubters. It's time to 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 show exactly what we're made of, uh, and, and and go out there and really. Really give it to them. And, and, you know, you know, being a player, preparing for, for a team like this, preparing for a team that you know has kind of had your number literally always uh, is, a, is a big deal. Um, and, you know, being able to go out there and just – I think it's more of a mental thing than it is physical. Yeah, absolutely. I think we have the athletes to compete with this team. I think we're a fantastic football team. I mean, like you said, this is the first time we've been in this position in almost a decade. Uh, I think it's a mental hurdle, but I think if anybody's ready to overcome that mental hurdle, it's this St. Michael football team with this coaching staff. They said in the article this week on The Advocate, you you have two very experienced coordinators in Blake Kling and Chuck Guidry. Uh, and, 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 you know, obviously a very fiery and up-and-coming head coach in Zach Leger. Uh, I, I think if, if anybody can get their guys up and ready to play and ready to overcome that hurdle, it, it's going to be this coaching staff. And, I'm look, I'm excited, just, just as excited as you were. We were texting back and forth today, man, and just, just the excitement. Uh, you know, you told me when you got up here, man, how fired up you were. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you'd love nothing more than be able to strap on that chin strap again, put that helmet on, put them shoulder pads on, go out there and bang some heads too. Man, I've been jacked up all day. I, I, you know, just the smell in the air, a big game feel. It's exciting. And, and I'll tell you, Coach, a lot of the football alumni have been reaching out to me all week saying, man, I, I noticed the Warriors are 4-0. and I, I noticed we got a chance to go out there and beat Blackman. So you got a lot of them tuning in outside right now. Like right now we got Chris Mill also on the live chat. Go Warriors. I mean, look. It's awesome to see those guys, but right now, here come your St. Michael Warriors out to the field. Jeff, it's, I mean, you can just feel it in the air tonight. You know, you got a pretty good crowd rolling in. It's middle school band night, uh, so, the, you know, the band is going to be all fired up. Uh, the one and only Doc Doc Andrew out love there, it. Gotta you love know, it. firing it up, getting those, getting those horns, getting those drums going. Jeff, I, I'll tell you what, man. Those red uniforms, that's pretty sweet right there. That, that's that's a that's a clean, clean, good look right there. Yeah, I'm loving the uniforms. And, and if I remember correctly, Coach Coach Zach Leger said he allows the players to choose the uniforms. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah. I believe so. And you know what? Thankful, too. Uh, it, it looks like, I mean, we haven't, like, gotten into action, but it looks like you can – kind of tell what the numbers are and that's for these old eyes and for the, you know our broadcast for your you know broadcast and that's that's a that's always a good thing but we got the captains for the warriors lined up that captains tonight for st michael was number 64 austin wood and number 62 brant bertrand captains for the Green Devils, it looks like number 13, Landon Carter, number 21, Jacoby McCoy, number 5, Brandon Smith, and I believe that's number 55, Russell Johnson. 
Number five, Brandon Smith. Number 13, Landon Carter. Number 21, Jacoby, Jacoby McCoy. And number 55, Russell Johnson. All right, the referees meeting the teams. About to flip the coin. We got the crowd mic tonight. I like that. Yeah, man. Busted out the old crowd mic tonight. See how that works. Hopefully YouTube doesn't boot us off for some music or something. Like the Warriors won the toss and have elected to defer, as usual. We're going to defend the defer. scoreboard in the first quarter. Typically what you're going to do. and So it'll be St. Michael Ball first. Offense will be able to get out there to kind of show what they got to start this game off. Or rather, defense be out there. I, I kind of like that. You know, the defense getting out there to uh, kind of set the tone. They, they're sort of the they're the they're the tone setters uh, for the team. Uh, you know, I think Coach Gidry feels really good about his game plan tonight. Uh, we are that. we are as healthy as we've ever been this year, uh, and we'll kind of get into a few of those things those things here in just a second. As we're going to pause for the national anthem. Dr. Kevin Avery, perform our national anthem. But as we were saying right before the anthem, uh, I think the Warriors are as healthy as they've been all year. They have all of their linemen back. So one thing they're going to get to do is instead of having kind of a rotation of, of, of a lot of guys that are going both ways on offense and defensive line, he's got Guy Woods being able to go full-time defensive line, not having to worry about playing O-line. And then he's going to be able to – Coach Gidry's going to be able to rotate that other, that other defensive tackle. So I, I think that's going to be a huge, huge piece tonight. And so here we go, Warriors heading out. It'll be William Mondello, as always, William Pele Mondello, out to do the kicking. Back deep for the Green Devils, number 17. That is Aiden Joseph and number five, Brandon Smith. And number six, Jaden Kristoff, is also kind of back there hanging out in the middle. I did see this week they were kind of trying to practice some, some pooch kicking uh, to, to probably see if they could get a maybe a, a, a easy turnover. But look, I you know I don't mind Mondello booting it in the end zone every time. And it's going to be the line drive that's going to be 
off the face mask of Smith. And he's going to take it out. He's going to come up shy of the 20-yard line. Nice coverage right there by the Warriors after he literally took that line drive kick right off the face mask. So we'll start out on the defensive side for the Warriors. Your starters tonight at one end, Gavin Knapps. At the other end, number 35, Bryce Richard. In the middle, you're going to have number 57, Nathan Bell, and number 66, Guy Woods. In the middle at linebacker, Grayson Boudreau and Matthew Bell. On the outsides, Hayden Evans and Hudson Foreman. And then your corners are Mariano and Landry and Poirier at free safety. And they're already they're testing the outside. And that is big number 21, the receiver, Jacoby McCoy, breaking a few tackles. At quarterback, starting off is number two, Nico Victorian. You're going to see a couple of different uh, quarterbacks tonight, possibly for the, for the Green Devils. But it's Victorian to start. They're going to run a little counter play. They got the edge. It's going to be number four. Tyrese Mosby, who's going to get all the way almost down to the 40-yard line of the Warriors. The Green Devils are moving fast here. Jeff, this is the first time we've seen a team kind of move at this pace against us. Yeah, they've all three first plays just been right back on the ball. They're going to put it up again. A little hitch to McCoy. And McCoy, another good gain. He's going to have enough for another first down. Matthew Bell. So they're trying to exploit the edges here, and that's what I think, uh, talking to Coach Guidry, that's that's the one thing I think they were a little bit worried about is, is Plaquemine getting on the edges. It's going to be whistles. Not sure what's going on. But we have a delay. Something maybe with the chains. Looks like, I guess we're good. So two receivers each side for Plaquemine in this hurry up offense. Jeff, I thought I think the slot receiver moved early right there on the on the far side of the field and they missed it. Pass was intended for number 33, Dalvin Joseph. And that was just a, a smash concept on the outside. You had number 21. Uh, Jacoby McCoy doing another hitch route, his third of the game. I think as long as Hayes Marino is giving him a little bit of cushion over there, they're going to keep running that thing. Yeah, I think they're, they're going to test this this cover three and man-to-man, -man, cover one concept of the Warriors. Now they're just going to pound it right here with Mosby, who's going to get all the way down to the 25-yard line. So here we go. The, the Green Devils are on the move. It's third down. Mosby, the Warriors had a chance to get him in the backfield, but it was looked like it was Naps, and I can't, I couldn't tell who else it was. Ran into each other in the backfield. You had so. an opportunity there to stop him behind the line. Would have been a, a big third down stop there, but drive continues. So another first down. The hitch, and Marino can't make the tackle, but good job of the. War, rest of the Warrior defense coming to rally, led by Matthew Bell and Grayson Boudreau. And they are moving fast with a sense of urgency here, Coach. Look, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm impressed by their operation of being able to execute. But I, I can I can tell you right now, this is probably uh, – these are probably some scripted plays. They probably went – they probably, you know, at, at least scripted the first ten plays or so. And, and rep these things all during the week so they know exactly what's coming play after play after play. That's why they're able to move so fast. Handoff, that's number three this time. That's number three, Dawson, Vincent Dawson in the backfield. And they're still moving fast. First and goal, like they're at the one yard line. Same play, caught in the backfield. Nice job right there, Matthew Bell. Hayden Evans also in there. And they're ready to move again. Yeah, this is absolutely a scripted series of, of probably a dozen plays or so because they immediately moved into the to the next formation. And they got us on the on the freeze call right there. So that'll be half a distance to the goal. Offside for the Warriors. 
So that ball will be down at the two yard line, second and goal for the Green Devils. Who have moved the ball with, with, with ease down here. And they got him again. They're just trying to take advantage of the, the over-aggressiveness of the Warriors. They know that the Warriors linebackers the specifically want to want to try to penetrate and get in there as quickly as possible, and they've got them a couple times. They're just going to have to be more disciplined and just have the eyes on the ball here. And they've shrunk this thing from a second and six here to a second Here comes the sneak. Two. Victorian got in the end zone for the touchdown. So the Green Devils – Drive it down 81 yards to get the first score. And even though they were moving pretty fast, they still took all, almost four minutes off the clock here with that drive. Yeah, nice solid 10 to 12 play, four minute drive to open up the game. I mean, so it's, it's the, the Warriors offense is just going to have to step up and respond. And they got us again coming off the edge. I think we're just a – Jeff, I think we're a little bit too All amped up right here because we've seen a couple of missed tackles on just kind of not – maybe being a little too aggressive, not breaking down enough. We've seen some, I mean, offsides penalties, which we haven't seen all year. So, I think the Warriors just kind of have to – the adrenaline is pumping them maybe just a little bit too much, and they got to calm down just a tad bit. But, look, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather them have to calm down than have to get them pumped back up to, to, to get out there. So with 8.09 left to go, your score is 7-0, Plaquemine up. Yeah, and I mean, look, Coach, on, on that last drive, I mean, don't get me wrong, 81 yards, four minutes, 10 to 12 plays, it was a great drive. But we had an opportunity there on third and four to kind of stop them outside of their own or outside of the 30 yard line and kind of in that series right there we we had an opportunity to make a play in the backfield like you said two guys collide and he shakes it outside and picks up the first down i'm not overly concerned kind of like what you were talking about i'm not overly concerned the no, guys no, no, are no jacked up ready to play uh let's let's get the let's get Preston Santino the ball in his hands and see what he can do yep i know the warriors are excited about some opportunities they think they have on offense so it'll be number 80 Four kicking off. That is Xavier Asbury. Little pop up. McCarty's going to fair catch it at about the. They're going to give it to him at the 20. He caught that ball at about the 22 yard line and faded back to the 20. But that's that's where the the side judge back here just she was. I don't know if she wasn't paying attention because he he definitely fair caught that ball more at the 22 or 21 yard line rather than the 20. That's where you almost wish a couple of these guys up here in the booth could can can call down and be like, hey, look, no, he caught that ball at about the 21 yard line. But here's Centino with Martinez in the backfield. You got, they're going with the four receiver set. Willett, DiStefano, and Landry to the top of your screen. Johnny McCarty, the single receiver. Jeff, they are man-to-man, -man, cover zero across the board. Yep. There is no safety in the middle of the field. Handoff. Martinez has a, has a gap. He hits it. He's got the sideline. Martinez run out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Great job. That's what you run the risk of right there. When you just pack everybody up against the line of scrimmage, if you get one seam, if you catch one block, then you are gone. Martinez with a 30-yard run. And great job by the offensive line to create that hole. Great job of Johnny Martinez of hitting it. But Johnny McCarty on the outside had a block that sprung that for about another 20 yards. a pancake by a wide receiver, man. Yep, yep. Now Warriors are checking with the sideline to get the call. Same, same defense, Jeff. Sticking with it. Martinez finds a hole. He's going to fall forward for. They're going to give him. Going to give him two yards. The referee at the top was giving him the extra yard, but the the ref the, the umpire in the middle only gave him the one yard. 
Gavin Knapps now in the backfield. So Knapps and Boudreaux both in the backfield. Martinez in the pistol. That's Knapps next to Centino. Straight up the middle, falling forward out to the 44-yard line. It's going to bring up a third and four. Warriors are going to run back out there, four receiver group. And Coach, I'll tell you a, a, a look that I did like on that last play. You had Johnny McCarty on the top of your screen lined up against number 24, Eric Riley. There's a distinct size advantage there uh, in favor of Johnny McCarty, and he's obviously a fantastic out, uh, athlete in man-to-man -man coverage alone up top. Let's see if we come back to that eventually. Yeah, for sure. Now a condensed formation and just missed him. He had McCarty open. Santino's pass sailed just a little bit high. The Warriors are going to go ahead and elect a punt and put the Green Devils hopefully inside the 20-yard line. Mondello going to be standing at about his 40. Warriors going with the trips to the top on the punt. Coach Leger calling the timeout. Jeff, it looked like they had a fake going on there, and, and Coach Leger did not like what he saw and decided to call a timeout. So we'll take a timeout with him. We'll be right back with the Warrior Broadcast Network. And as an announcement, great job. Programs have been sold out. We will announce the winner at halftime. So keep them ready. All right, we are back here live from Brex Olympia Stadium. I am Coach Craig Saylor, voice of Warrior Athletics. Joining me up here in the Coach Todd Fruge press box, class of 2014, Jeff Vaccaro. 2015, I'm sorry, Jeff. 15. Gave you an extra year. Mondello with a boot. It's going to fall. Oh, and ball, ball, he ball. fumbles it. And there's a mad scramble for it, I think. I, we might be on that, Coach. It looked like Plaquemine may have jumped back on that, but the Warriors are pointing our way. The Warriors have it. Nice job right there. And Coach, that's a Just second. a big mistake right there from Plaquemine fielding it, that and, and muffing that punt. I mean, it, again, the ball went right off his face mask. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's two return game plays in a row for Plaquemine, two so far this game and two muffs. I think that was number six, Jaden Kristoff, was the one that, that muffed that. So, you know, Pl uh, Plaquemine special teams with the air. Hey, another another turnover on the, the, the punt team, man. Yep. I mean, it's just it's a, it's incredible how many, how many plays the punt team has been able to make. Now we're going with an empty set. Marino in it, tight end on the right. They're going cover zero across the board. Rolled, the snap was rolled back. Presentino throws it up, and it's caught. He's in. They're going to mark him just He's in. shy. No oh, touchdown, Warriors. Gavin Landry with the touchdown grab. Nice job, Centino. As he's getting hit, just threw it out there. He threw it in the perfect spot to the outside. Uh, Gavin Landry was able to adjust it. I thought he fell down at about the one yard line, but his butt must have came down, his backside, excuse me, must have come down it, right on the line. They Touchdown. ran the same, the same route concept. It was kind of mirrored on both sides, and Centino just knows where his guy's going to be, trusts Gavin Landry enough yep. to make a play, launches it up there. And it's good from Mondello. So it's 622 left to go here in the first quarter. 7-7 seven, seven Warriors and Green Devils are tied. We'll be back after a quick break. This is Warrior Broadcast Network.
And we are back after a touchdown pass from Centino to Landry on the first play after the muff punt. And Coach Zach Legge has got his backwards hat on. He is fired up, pumping up the crowd. The crowd is fired up right now. This is going to be a, a high-energy football game. Yeah, Coach, we're going to need this crowd tonight. They're going to have to make a whole lot more noise than they usually do. Give us that home field advantage. Mondello. Excuse me, Acadian Ambulance, will you please turn off your lights? <laughs> Repeat, Acadian Ambulance, please turn off your lights. Got the EMS lights yeah, flashing the, in the end zone. Yeah, they have the headlights of the, the ambulance down in the end zone. You got the lights are on, distracting the team, I guess. Thank you. Get up, Warrior fans. Let's go. Into at the five yard line. Streaking right up the middle. One man to beat, and he is going to take it all the way to the house. And there's a flag on the field down just at about the 20 or 34-yard line. That is going to come all the way back, as that was number 17, Aiden Joseph, who returned that one 95 yards. Jeff, he caught that ball and looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Yeah, Mandela was really the only one to get a hand on him there. Just couldn't quite bring him down, but that's Holding. coming all the way back, baby. Hey, I, I will tell you this, and I, and, I, and I know it's something we've talked about before, and I know it's something that, that you specifically talked about before. Mondello ain't scared. He yep. had one of the – he's had probably the biggest hit of the entire year in the in the first game of the season in that game. He he, he stood right there, right in front of, of Aiden Joseph, coming 100 miles an hour right right at him full steam and, and was going to try to make the tackle, just, just couldn't right, quite hang on. Hey, Coach. If William Mondello's hit in week two is not on the hype video for the open house at the football station, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, man, it's going to – I it, mean, that was just electric, injected into my veins. That is freaking so fired up. Luke Rougeau coming out a little bit late on defense. Two receivers each side for the Green Devils. They're going to run it with the quarterback. That's number five, Smith. A lot of room. They just went straight quarterback, quarterback power right there. That's Smith now taking the snaps. Looks like Vic, Victorian is going to come back in. Hydration. And we got that six-minute hydration timeout. I will be thankful when the month of September is over so we can stop this hydration timeout nonsense. It's the last one, Coach. We'll be back. One final time, Warrior fans. This game, this quarter specifically, is brought to you by Raising Hayes. And we are back. Second down and one for the Green Devils. Again, two receivers split out to each side. Victorian taking the snap. Is going to hand it off to Mosby. Mosby going to take it across the 35 down to the 38-yard line. Here goes Plackman moving quick again. We'll see how long they can they can stay in this this sort of hyperspeed mode. A little bit of a low pass right there. Nice job of Peyton Evans keeping the receiver held up long enough for Gavin Knapps to come out there and help out. No gain. Well, they're going to give him. They're going to give him a yard. That's 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 debatable. Mosby. Evans got a piece of him in the backfield. Coach, that's two plays in a row that Hayden Evans has gotten a great break on the play. Yeah, I mean, he's coming off that edge out there. He's got no re slot receivers, so they're just bringing him. Now they're going to kind of roll up and play maybe a little bit more coverage here.
Third down in about seven. The hitch route. He's short. Short. And He's going to be about a yard short. Be, be aware of the freeze play. They're going to try to draw us off here. They've done it three or four times already in this game. They're going to come back to it. Warrior defense got to really focus in on, and focus in on that ball. So they're going to go for it on fourth at the 48. They're looking over to the sideline to get the play. They're not going to have enough time to, to pull the freeze and run a play. They're going to try to run the screen and complete. The Warriors get the stop. Great defensive stand right there. Warriors get the ball back with four minutes left on the clock in the first quarter in enemy territory. Yes, yeah, so it'll be first down Warriors at the 48-yard line in Plaquemine territory. 3.58 tie ball game. Warriors offense back at it. Crowd's coming alive now, Coach. Yeah, they're getting up a little bit. They've kind of kind of woken up and realized there's a football game going on. <laughs> The snap, handoff, pulled, Centino in the open. Yeah, he's he's going to break it 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Warriors. Great call right there by the Warriors. Centino breaking through. Jeff, the, the, the Green Devils are living and dying by just bringing everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Centino didn't – he just had to get by one guy, yep. and, and he was in he was in the end zone. I and, mean, it, and it's that power sweep play that we've seen Centino absolutely love, especially in week one and two. Yep. Rides that fake out to the last second, pulls it right up the seam, and you're not going to catch Centino in the open space. 48-yard touchdown run again. The kick is up, and it is good. 3.48 left to go here in the first quarter. Warriors 14, Green Devils 7. We'll be back. All right, we are back. Jeff, I think we're in in uh, about to be in for a, a good old-fashioned shootout here. Yeah, I don't know what uh, Vegas had the over at, but you're looking good if you took it. I mean, big plays, big plays, big plays being made. Warriors with a big stop on fourth down, got it back and put the – Ball in the end zone. Now another line drive that's going to hit and go in the end zone. Smith wanted no part of, of that line drive again. The last time he tried to field it, it hit him literally right in the face and almost uh, almost turned it over. Yep. So the touchback for Mondello. The ball on their own 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10. 20, uh, ball to 20 yard line of the of the Green Devils, first and 10. Another pass outside, dropped this time. I think that's Joseph out there. As one of his teammates kind of came over there to, you know, kind of encourage him, and he just he just waved them off. A little frustration from Joseph there. Victorian, the quarterback. Snap was a little high. Mosby breaks a couple tackles. He's going to get out to – they're going to give him just shy 29-yard line. Now you see, on your feet. It's third down. Third and one. The snap, handoff right up the middle. Mosby. Just grabbed. It'll be a first down to the 
he almost popped that one right there. He got all the way out to the 36-yard line. He picked up seven. Same play, Mosby up the middle. They're just they're just going right at the center of the Warriors defense right now. Yeah, and they're loving that A gap right there. They're picking up four or five yards of carry. They're gonna keep coming back to it. It'll be second down. Trips receivers to the near side, single receiver to the top of your screen. Now they're gonna try the deep ball. Joseph. Nice coverage by Gavin Landry. Landry got a little bit lost. You saw how he just slightly stuck the arm out. He didn't really grab. He just kind of slightly stuck the arm out there. Slowed down Joseph just enough. It'll be third and about six right here. Balls at the four, third and five. Balls at the 41-yard line. They need the 46. And watch that hitch route again on the outside. Nobody's there. He's got it all covered up. Now he's going to toss it down the field. Marino breaks it up. What a play right there. Hayes Marino. Nice breakup. McCoy got behind Marino, but he he was he was just close enough to be able to recover. We got a flag on the field at about the 47. Not sure what this could be. There might have been a hold on this outside right tackle. Holding, yeah, they're going to decline that. They're going to make it fourth down. So what is Plaquemine going to do here? They're keeping their offense on. Nope, they're going to spell. They're going to kick it. And coach, that's two plays in a row where where the Warriors secondary gets tested and you come up with great coverage. First yeah, I mean, look, that, Gavin that, Landry up on the top of the screen. That was a beautifully thrown football, but you used the the sideline as the twelfth man on your defense. Great coverage, and then at the end there by Hayes Marino to get a handle. That was a little ball. reminiscent of, of what we saw from the Tigers on Saturday of a quarterback breaking contain and trying to make a big play, but Marino made a, a great play on the ball. Ball snapped over his head. Let's see what he tries to do. He breaks contain there. There's going to be a flag thrown. There's going to be a, probably a hands-to-the-face penalty as number 23's helmet got knocked off. That is going to be just terribly unfortunate if the Warriors get called for a personal foul right here. I got to believe that's what's going to happen. I mean. Yeah, anytime a helmet's on. Yeah, tw number 23, that's for the Green Devils. That's num uh, Cameron Rogers had his helmet on the ground. He was locked up with Knox Poirier. Couple flags came in there. Unless they're going to call a hold. Nope, it's going to be on. It's going to be on the Warriors. That's going to be enough for a first down. First of foul gets the Warriors. So, Warriors were about to get another big stop. Now they're going to have, defense is going to have to come back out on the field. So the mistake right there. will give the Green Devils a first down in Warrior territory now at the 45-yard line. His personal foul, hands to the face. The Victorian going to hand it off this time to number three. That's Dawson right up the middle. And again, a lot of success right up the middle of the Warriors' defense. Six-yard gain there at the 40, or at the 39. Dawson again got hit pretty hard, but he picked up a few. So another third down. Opportunity for the defense to get off the field. Same play, and Dawson. Jeff, this is the most I've seen our defensive line just get blown off the football right here. They got they got driven back five six yards right there. And Warriors are going to have to call a timeout to try to collect themselves a little bit here after what was going to be a, a, a turnover, which turned into having to go back out on the field. And we'll take a brief timeout as well. 117 left to go in the first is the Warrior Broadcast Network.
And we are back. That was a timeout call by Plaquemine. It'll be first down and 10 for the Green Devils at the Warrior 29. Jeff, I'm trying to sit here and figure out why the why the why Black and call a timeout. Yeah, I'm not really sure when when your offense is moving that well and you're moving at high speed. I don't I don't get it either. They're gonna go check with me on the sideline. Same play right up the middle. Taken down. Shorter carry right there. Looks like they're gonna give him the. They're going to give him the 36, so he got three, second and seven. Another long drive by the Plaquemine offense. Check with me again. Motion. Fake the jet. Hand it back to the running back. Mosby, he's fighting. He's going to take it in for the touchdown. Mosby with a 26-yard touchdown run. And they bring that motion man across just to kind of get those linebackers to second guess it. And then you come underneath with the power to Mosley and just great vision there, seeing a hole, bouncing off his, his blockers and makes it in for a touchdown. Yeah, Overall, a little, good vision. A little, bit of a little bit of eye candy right there. And it's up and it's good. So with 26.8 seconds left to go in the first, your score is all tied up at 14. We'll be right back. We are back. It'll be Asbury kicking off for the Green Devils. Naps and DiStefano back deep for the Warriors. And you said it at 7-7, Coach. This looks like a shootout. Here we are with 28 total points scored in the first quarter. Yeah, this is by far the most points. And that's a pretty good little boot from Asbury. DiStefano on the return. He's going to get out to and across the 30-yard line. Good return by the Warriors. I'll tell you what, Jeff. This is probably the best I've seen the Warriors special teams in, in quite a while. I mean, they're just they, they're they're doing a real good job of, of returns. They're doing a good job, of, you know, obviously of harassing the punter. I mean, yep. Returned a couple touchdowns, man. I mean, that's that's some that's some just that's just land yap. No, they they team. look like one of the best special team units in the state right now. I mean, I, I don't have the stats on that, but I'm sure if you draw that up, they are. Fake handoff, Santino gets ridden out of bounds at the 37. I think if he would have stuck his foot in the ground and kind of gotten vertical, he might have got I mean, a few more yards, but he also might have taken a big hit. Notice the change here from the Green Devils. Now they're going with the two high safety. Yep. They've backed off significantly with their pressure look. But now it's a much lighter box. Now they only got five guys in the box. So the Warriors are just going to continue to run the football right here. It's just kind of a no-brainer. You got numbers. Martinez carrying, carrying people. Getting a hand up in his face too, but I guess no penalty on that one for us. Yeah, and that's gonna that's gonna do it for the first quarter, coach. Yeah, triple zeros. So at the end of one, your score tied at 14 all. We'll be back. This is Warrior Broadcast Network.
as we move into the second quarter, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Capcom. And we are back. Third down. So third down and about three for the Warriors. They got to get out to the 43-yard line. Ball spotted at the 40. Bunch set to the top of your screen. Centino going to drop back. He's got a scramble. He's got a receiver out in the flat. It's Landry. Landry gets hit, but he's going to have enough for a first down. And there comes the flag. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a possibly a helmet to helmet hit. No, or a face mask. Let's see what he calls here. Either way, it's going to be some extra yardage for the Warriors. Ball spotted at the 48. Personal foul, face mask. So first down, Warriors plus extra 15. Good job. Yeah, it's 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 like we're just watching like a mirror image yeah. of both. Just it's happening on both sides yeah. right there. Yeah. And good tough catch there for the yards after the catch by by Gavin, just hanging in there after a big hit and picking up an extra five. Now we got that power look in the backfield. Martinez gets swallowed up by big number seventy four, Paul Smith. Rather, that's number seventy five. Don't have a don't have a name on number seventy five, but he is a he is a big boy. Yeah, that's a big old Seven unit. Down. Nine to go. Maybe that's seventy six. We got a seventy six, a Tyvin Edwards out there, listed as a freshman. Whew, man, kind of reminiscent of uh, what was the what was the big D tackle for uh, Alabama several years ago? Oh, I know who you talked about. Played for the uh, I think he played for the Ravens, maybe. Martinez being patient, sticks his foot in the ground, bounces off a tackle, goes across the 25 to the 24, first down, Warriors. And Martinez just runs physical, man. You got to love that out of your back and pretty much the every down roll for the Warriors this year, and he's just so head down. He's looking for contact, man. Coach, I will tell you this, and I, I didn't notice this, and I'm looking out on the field. There's been a change in kind of where coaches are – position for the Warriors tonight. That's Coach Blake Kling is up here in the box on offense. And Coach Mastretta is down on the field where he's normally up top. Martinez, good run right there. Maybe Coach Kling is just seeing it a little bit differently up here in the box. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big difference. You know, I never, I've never called plays from up in the, in the box, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's definitely seeing it up here, you know, being in the press box and being a coach in the box for a long time. You know, you do get a, a different perspective on on what you're seeing, for sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell Coach Kling's in a rhythm calling plays here. So they're going back to that that zero safety look. Let's see what the Warriors got for them right here. Nope, they got one safety back deep. Martinez tried to hit the edge, got tripped up. A tackle was made, I think that was number 30. DeMorian Bugs on the edge. Correction, I think that was number 11, rather. That's Roderick Bingham made that stop. Warriors aren't in a rush here. They're going to try to give their defense a little bit of a breather. It's a good good idea after the, the Green Devils are kind of going in a, on a warp speed. Centino fakes it up the middle. He's going to get down to the five-yard line. That is that enough for the first down? I think the I think the the spot the marker is at. No, they're going to give him just shy of it. And big Austin Woods helmet came off. He's going to come out for a play. Looks like they're going to go with the freshman Doug Kelly, number yeah, seventy-four. Yeah, Doug Kelly coming. I'm surprised they didn't go with with Guy Woods out there. Man, Jeff, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this ball is coming to the right side. Yep. Loading up with Matthew Bell. Man, I still love this this Johnny McCarty on number 32. Man up battle. Yeah, top. top of the screen up there. He's got the size on, on his corner. Martinez right up the middle. That's going to be enough for a first down. 
First down, Lawyers, first and goal at the three-yard line. Austin Wood coming back in. That's Austin Wood who was out for a couple games, made his return last week. Or rather, no, I'm sorry, he's making his return this week. I'm yep. sorry. Yep. He was out for the Bel Air and Broadmoor game. That's a big, big get back for the Warriors right there. First and goal, two receivers at the top of the screen, one down here on the bottom. I still, again, Jeff, I like that matchup. Yep. In that one-on-one, -on -one, Centino is going to roll out. Touchdown, Warriors. That's just a quarterback sweep right there. He runs it in. They, I mean, Plaquemin had everybody right in the middle, and there was there was just – you had one guy. If you could yep. get just partial a partial block on that guy, you, like Centino just walked in the end zone. Yep. 7.32 left. Warriors going to take the 20-14 to 14 lead pending the Mondello PAT. And again, Coach, I think Coach Kling up in the box is just feeling it right now. I mean, he is calling a heck yeah. of a game. Oh, yeah. Mondello up, and it's good. 21-14, 7.32 left to go in the first half. We'll be back. This is the Warrior Broadcast Network. And we are back. Centino puts his second Russian touchdown on the board to give the Warriors a 21-14 lead. Jeff, if I was a betting man, putting your money down on the over tonight, I think was the uh, was the was the good play. Yeah, I think you're probably about right on that. You got 35 up. Bobbled kickoff. By Joseph, he takes it out to the right. He's got a lot of room out there. He's going to get ridden out of bounds. And that's the second return by Joseph. Yeah, Busted Coach, out. The last Coach, one to call back from a penalty. Coach Leje not happy about something. And I think it's his contained guys outside. So the ball will be out all the way to the 43-yard line of the Warriors. Victorian at quarterback. Handoff to Mosby. Nice Mosby job of getting corralled. I think that was down by number 66. I think that was Woods and Matthew Bell over there. So second and about eight. Plaquemine still moving at that pretty fast pace. Now they're going to try to put one up over the middle. Coach, if, if the umpire wasn't there, does Matthew Bell pick that off? I, I think so. That's what I was about to say. I, I mean, I, they didn't really have a receiver in the in the area, and I think Matthew Bell had great I mean, intention, intentional grounding? Yeah. There's nobody there. You're not going to get that call, but, I mean, you know, we can ask for it. Yeah. All right, big third down and eight here for the Warrior defense. They're going to run the out route to the top of the screen, and that ball was nowhere near Joseph. They're going to go for it for sure right here with the ball at the 41. They're not kicking a field goal. You're not going to you're not going to punt with the ball right here, and so that's going to be the fourth down attempt. He had Joseph that he could have connected to him with him. He had it for a first down. Warriors giving a lot of cushion. They're going to try to run the in route and yep. fired way over the head of number 21, McCoy. Turnover on down. First down, Warriors. 
But Jeff, we're, we were sitting up here before the game watching Plackham and throw. Yeah. And Victorian, he either threw it at the at his receiver's feet, or he did that. He launched it way over way his over. head. You know, he's got a pretty good looking arm right there, but he's not really been very accurate tonight. And that's gotten him right here on those last two throws where he had receivers. He had an open guy yeah. on both of those, but just could not connect. The Warriors get the turnover and on down. They have nobody over our slot guy on the near side of the field. Gavin's pointing to the coach and saying, look at this. He's he's 15 yards off of him. He's saying, look at this, coach. Now here comes number 11, kind of, kind of walking out over there. Yep. Landry gets it, cuts back to the middle of the field. That ball was almost kicked Joe. off by number 20, Dejon Baloney. A good job of Centino and the coaching staff recognizing they got Landry right there, settle him in for a little five-yard hitch and let him do the rest. Yep, first down, Warriors. Best believe they're putting a man out on him now. Martinez gets the edge, puts his shoulder right into the corner, falls forward for nine. And there's Mar Martinez again, he says, I got one guy, and you're not taking me down easy. I'm lowering the helmet. No, he, the he lowered his shoulder right into I think that's number 24, Eric Riley. There's the hydration break. And here we go, the six-minute hydration timeout in the second quarter. So we'll be back in just a minute. This is Warrior Broadcast Network. Excuse me. Sorry about that out there. We are back. Remember, smash that like button. Share the share the link out to all your friends, family. The fake. Santino is going to keep it himself. He heads out towards the left and just steps out of bounds. Look, that's a really smart play by Santino. Yep. He got plenty enough yards for the first down and, you know, just save the hit. You don't 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 take that unnecessary contact. You got the first down. Wall is right there, and we're at the in business at the 26 yard line. Coach, you know what I noticed? We got a cowbell somewhere in the stands. Yeah, there was a there was a, a little bit of excitement because uh, the 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 fans were were told that they can bring noisemakers. Uh, it was kind of thought that maybe we couldn't have noisemakers, but uh, you know that that is that is not the case. So we got some some noisemakers in the in the crowd tonight. Flag out way out here. I'm not sure what that's going to be for. Way away from the play. Unless this side judge saw a hold. They're going to wave it off. So no flag on the play. Second down. It's like Martinez game two. Like he got down to the 24-yard line. They're bringing in a different package with looks like Hayes Marino out there. Yeah, Marino out there. They're going to go with their their – uh, 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end. The handoff, Martinez got nothing. He's going to try to get as much as he could. Might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. Martinez. They tried the sweep. Just couldn't quite reach the edge. I think they're going to give him a loss of... Loss of one back to the right, – loss of two back to the 24. So back to that original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and 10. Coach Martinez is just, just taking a knee right there. He is dead tired. Bunch set to the top of your screen. 
Centino drops back. He's going to roll out. He doesn't have anything. He's got a receiver on the back side of the play who is wide open, and they're going to get him for grounding right yeah. there more than likely. Uh, we might be getting away with one right there. Maybe we are going to get away with one. Coach, if he could have turned his eyes back to the far side of the field, Johnny McCarty was wide open. But, you, you know, that's, that's really tough to look all the way back to the opposite hash when you're almost to the numbers out here. And a right-handed quarterback. Yeah. But McCarty was, had his hand up. So Mondello ball is going to be spotted at the 33 with a 43-yard attempt here from the left hash. It's up, and it's not going to have enough. Just didn't have enough. I think it was on line, but just not enough behind it. The snap was a little bit off, and I don't know if De Stefano was able to corral it enough to, to keep it down. But that'll be a turnover to the Green Devils with 4.54 left to go here in the first half. Warriors are still up 21-14. Be Victorian in the gun trying to get that freeze play to work. Counter play just devoured in the backfield. Gavin Naps. Gavin Naps met the running back at the mesh point right there. That's going to be something where you're going to have to watch here in just a couple plays. They might come back to that play and it might be a pull from Victorian. Yeah, and Gav Gavin's done a good job of getting in the backfield all night. He's been there for some hurries as well. So here comes the screen. McCoy gets back to the middle of the field. He's going to get enough for the first down. The pursuit almost had him. And they are moving, Coach. They are moving. They got to let the chain get set. Chain's not even set, and they are they are rolling. Mosby gets all the way across the Warrior 40-yard line. Warrior's going to substitute up front. Blaine Rodri coming in. Big number 78, Luke Ruggio with the dead sprint to the sideline. That was pretty impressive. There's the handoff, that's Dawson going up the middle, crossing the 35. Down by number 45, Second down. Same play. And he's gonna find a hole, he's gonna bust it, and the turf monster got him, Jeff. That's the first time we've seen the turf monster come up and uh, get credited with a tackle on the season. Welcome to the season, Turf Monster. I think he might have he might have cramped up right there. And timeout called. So we'll come back with 307 left. This is Warrior Broadcast Network. And first down for Plaquemine. Looks like at the 14-yard line. They're going to run straight ahead. Nobody there. Mosby takes it in for a 14-yard touchdown run. Jeff, I think they just ran the same play four times, five times in a row. Yeah, it's just a different set, two by two, three yep. by one, and, you know, they're running that same exact play. Just Warrior defense is getting tired. It's a yeah, fast they're kind of on, game. kind of on skates. This is the first time you've really seen them really get pushed back this year. 
So it'll be Asbury. And it's up. And it's good. So with 3.02 left to go in the first half, we're all tied at 21. We'll be back as the Way Broadcast Network. We are back. Warriors are set to receive. Naps and DeStefano back deep. It'll be Asbury teeing it up at the 40-yard line. Booted deep. It'll be DeStefano over on the far hash. Brings it up the hash. He's got a little room, and there's the turf monster again. That turf monster must be hanging out right about that 25, 20-yard line somewhere in there because he's gotten two guys already on almost back-to-back -back plays. So it'll be first down. Wall is just right at the 30-yard line. I thought they were going to mark him just shy of the 30, but they're going to give it to him right at the 30. So Warriors got – 2.58 to, to operate here Good opportunity before the half. to see the three-minute drill. And Coach in the chat, you got Coach Ryan Holmes, former sports manager and uh, athletic trainer. I uh, got the free Friday off, man. Thanks for tuning in, Coach Holmes. And Martinez is going to get out, gain a couple of yards. Jeff, you see the, the Plaquemine defense kind of bouncing around a little bit more here. Yeah. Something if you're the, the Warriors, you really don't want to see them kind of getting juiced up a little bit. Warriors really don't want to try to – really don't want to give the ball back to Plaquemine here before the half is over because you get the ball to start the second half. There's zero coverage again. No safety. Martinez. Spinning, falling out to the 30, 38-yard 30, line. That's going to be third and three. They need the 40, 37-yard line. They need the 40-yard line for the first down. And there, there we go. Is. We got them. We got them on the freeze play. That's big number 75. Again, not, First down. not sure who not sure who that is. I think he's we're gonna go with uh Tyvin Edwards. Yeah, First we'll, down wall is whistle blew and everybody kind of stood up. That was just the ready for play. Martinez has it, he's got some room. Lowers the boom <laughs> on number six, Kristoff. Kristoff is really slow to get up right there. And Martinez again, another hard run, picking up yards after contact. Look, I got to give John Martinez credit. He's been the workhorse tonight and still was able to put his shoulder down and just run Kristoff over. Kristoff oh, no. comes back down and caught him low. John's down. Yeah, he caught him low. That was Kristoff. Got him right in the side of the leg right there. Let's hope this is a bruise. Yeah, let's hope it's just more of a kind of a dead leg type situation where he maybe got hit in the thigh or something or in the side of the leg and just got to work it out a little bit. Because that was Kristoff. Kristoff was the one who came downhill and submarined him in the hole. So we'll take an injury timeout. This is the Warrior Broadcast Network. Let's hear a word fans for number 24, John Martinez. And, and, 
And we are back. John Martinez walks off on his own power. I think he maybe got what well, was more of like a dead leg type situation. It's going to be Brody Knapps in the backfield. Matthew Bell. Now there's a lot of confusion. Knapps and Bell in the backfield. And timeout Green Devils so we'll come back after this timeout And we are back. 127 left to go in the half. Centino going to drop back, put the ball up, throws the corner route, throws it a little bit back inside. Gavin Landry turns into a corner on offense and knocks it down. Yeah, good high IQ play there by Gavin. No one, you don't really have the position there. It's time to turn it to DB. That's a really long throw to make right there. If yeah. he, he could have got it more towards the sideline. He had Landry open, but he missed back towards the middle of the field, which is never never really what you want to do right there yep. on that play. So Plackerman playing this third down. They got two safeties playing back deep. McCarty just out of his reach. That's going to bring up fourth down. And a good ball there by Centino. Puts it right where he needs to be. A little, little up in the zone, but incomplete. So Warriors are going to send out the punt team. Blackham is putting no one deep. They are 100% playing for the fake right here. Mondello is going to punt it. That ball is going to hit, and they're going to have a chance to pin them deep, deep, deep in the zone. They're going to do it. They're going to get him at the one-yard line. Down all the way at the one. What a job right there by Mondello. A good job by the Warriors special teams coverage guys to go down there and stop that thing. It took kind of a weird bounce. One where it might have been able to scoot away and get into the end zone, but they're going to get it at the one. Let's see what Plaquemine elects to do right here. If I have to say, I think they're going to they're going to continue to be aggressive. You're probably going to see a you're probably going to see a power run play here, but it's going to be kind of an aggressive uh still be an aggressive play right here. They're going to come out in an empty. That's that that is very bold. Very interesting. Bold move, Cotton. They throw the hitch. Oh. Bell almost had it. Matthew oh. Bell. Oh. Was one, just one step away from picking it off and giving us a 28-21 lead going into half, and the Plagman coaches in the box next door were not happy at all. Man. So they're going to stay in the spread in the or in the empty set. Ah, it's just real interesting. They're going to throw vertical and almost again. again? Bell. Pass is Jeff, I thought they would be a, be kind of aggressive here, more aggressive trying to run the football, but just getting an empty set and trying to trying to throw it. Hey, Coach Ryan Holmes shouting out Billy on the loudspeaker. Billy's got this crowd fired up, Coach. Big third down on their own goal line. They're in empty again. Boudreaux mugging up inside. See if they try some kind of twist or stunt up front. Try to confuse the line. And timeout, Plaquemine. Timeout, Devils. timeout Plaquemine. So we'll be back after this brief timeout. It's the Warrior Broadcast Network.
right, we are back. Coach, we got all kinds of people up in the chat. Ron Swanson making his fans, his weekly Big appearance in the chat. Now. Anna Martinez, Coach Holmes, Man. Little Philip Hines. Little Phil, Phil Big Hines Phil, four, baby. Big Phil Hines in the chat. You know, we got everybody rolling tonight. Let's go. We need everybody we can out there cheering for the Warriors tonight. Man, we got the crowd standing now, baby. They're going to throw the outside hitch to McCoy. He's going to get taken down. That was just the, the old smoke screen where, he, I mean, McCoy just, he didn't move. He stood right there on the one-yard line and caught that, caught that pass and took it. And the Warriors are going to take a timeout. They're going to get their, themselves set right here. Yeah, I think they're going to look for either a shank punt, a block, a good return. Try to get this thing in the field goal range. Got a couple I, shots at the end zone. And I think you got to keep one person just in case they decide to do something. I mean, you ne it's not the percentage play, but this is high school football. This is a Plaquemine team who probably believes that they have bigger and better athletes than your team. Yep. And they – they could try to pull something right here, man. I I would not put it past them. You always got to be just thinking about that. I mean, as aggressive as they were on the one-yard line, I, I wouldn't put it past them right here. I agree. They got a little space to work now. I guess you got, you got Smith is the up back. He is a quarterback as well, so you never know. Brandon Smith. Definitely has the ability to run or throw. There it is. There it is. Told you. They're going to fake it. The Warriors are going to stop it. Yes, there we go, baby. There we go. That's exactly what the Warriors were talking about. Jeff, I just had the feeling, man. Oh, my just God. Just had that feeling. It's like you're a coach, man. It's like you're a coach. Just, I, I mean, seeing Smith right there, just great, great play. Blaine Rodri again on the play. Knox Poirier in on the play. Just fantastic job by the special teams. It's first and goal, Warriors at the five. Man, you with 47.8 left. You got four shots at it, coach. Absolutely. I, I think the Warriors have one timeout left. If I'm if I'm counting right. The rollout. They're gonna try the throwback. Centino has room. He's got a receiver. Touchdown, Warriors! Matthew Bell, Matthew the five-yard touchdown reception. No laundry on the field. And Matthew Bell just to do it all. Right it back you, at you, Plackman. That's what I'm saying, baby. That's what I'm saying. You see Bell run the ball. You see Bell on defense. You see Bell blocking. Coach, Bell should have Bell should have had a touchdown on defense right yep. there a little while ago. Yep. Here's Mondello on with the point. It's up. That's good. 28-21, 41.2 seconds left to go before half. Warriors up. We'll be back. Yes, it is. That's what I'm saying, baby. Warriors take the 28-21 lead with 41.2 seconds left. Mondello's got it teed up. Let's see what the Warriors try to do right here on this kickoff. Mondello's going to drive it yep. into the end zone. Great job right there by Mondello to step up and put that ball in the end zone because, look, as good as the Warriors special teams has been, they, they've the, the, the kick coverage team has been a li little bit shaky. They had one taken back on them. They got called back, and then they had another one taken 
uh, down into Warrior territory. And it will be first and ten. Green Devils going with the empty set again. Let's see what they do here, man. I mean, this is just a little bit interesting. The screen. Jeff, you could have got a hold out there. Yep. It looked like the receiver. I, I'm not sure who that was that was blocking, but he, he put his hands out and tried to grab the Warrior defender. As he was, I think that was number 15. The, the pass was to, to Joseph. Yeah, Plaquemine has no more timeouts. They're just going to throw the hitch out here to McCoy. Couple Warriors coming out there. Now they're raking at the ball. That's probably going to do it. They're going to try to get another playoff. There's no way they're going to be able to get set. Uh, they they're going to get the point. They're going to give them the clock. They're going to give them the spike. I do believe. I think they're going to give it to them with, with about maybe .7 seconds left. Brad in the chat says, way to go, cheese. Cheese. All right, Warrior fans. It's it's Nathan Bell, otherwise, a.k.a. Cheese. So they're going to wait to see what the – they got nothing on the clock. The referee's not even paying attention to the fact that there's nothing on the clock. They're going to give them one down, I guess. I mean, just I know how you give them an untimed down right here, but that's what they're going to get. They're going to throw the screen back outside. Joseph drops it. They're saying a forward pass, and that is going to do it. So, halftime score, Warriors 28, Green Devils 21. Here we go, baby. We'll be back. Warrior fans, may I have your attention, please? If you bought a program and you have a number on the back of it, please look as we're about to announce the winning number who will receive a $100 gift card to Ruth Chris Steakhouse, courtesy of B. Lee Prison. The winning number is... If you're number 15, please go to the concession stand and meet Brandon Lavery to receive your wonderful prize. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our halftime entertainment. Tonight, we present with pride the Big Red Band from Warriorland. They are under the field direction of drum major Katie Bell Clump.
ladies and gentlemen. Please direct your attention to the 50-yard line as our lovely dancers take the field. They are under the direction of head coach Jennifer Cawthorn and assistant coach Jasper Hill. Dance captains are Kristen Wilson, Emily Largelier, and Riley Kidder. Listen and watch as they perform to the Y2K hit by Al City and Carly Rae Jepsen, Good Times. Tonight we feature the opening two movements of our competition show, Marianne Ladyhood of Sherwood Forest. Listen and watch as the Warrior Band and Dancers tell the story of Lady Marianne as she and her band of merry outlaws attempt to rescue Robin Hood from the evil sheriff of Nottingham.
Welcome back. That was the Big Red Band from Warriorland with their halftime performance. So, first half stats. First, we'll go through some individual stats. First for your Warriors, John Martinez, 16 carries, 98 yards. Preston Centino, 5 carries for 70 yards and 2 touchdowns. Centino was 4 of 8 for 54 yards with 2 touchdowns. Uh, Gavin Landry, 49 yards on three receptions and a touchdown. Matthew Bell, five yards on one reception and a touchdown. Mondello was 0 for 1 on his field goals, but 4 for 4 on PATs. Two punts for Mondello for a 30.5 yard average. DiStefano, two returns for 49 yards. And that was the individual stats for the Warriors for the uh, visiting Green Devils, 113 yards on 11 carries from Tyrese Mosby and two touchdowns. 52 yards on eight carries for Vincent Dawson. Uh, Nico Victorian was 8 of 18 for 58 yards. Jacoby McCoy had 55 yards on six catches. Brandon Smith had one catch for three yards, and Aiden Joseph had one catch for zero yards. It's Javante Frazier. I keep calling him Asbury. I correct me on that one. I'm so sorry about that. Frazier, three of three on his PATs. And Aiden Joseph had four kickoff returns for 137 yards. And Brandon Smith had one kick return for eight yards. So team statistics for both sides. Uh, Plaquemine with 14 first downs. St. Michael 13. Plaquemine had 22 carries for 157 yards. St. Michael, 21 carries for 168 yards. Uh, eight catches for 58 yards for Plaquemine, four for 54 for the Warriors. Uh, Plaquemine was eight of 18. Warriors are four of eight. Penalty yardage, uh, Plaquemine, three penalties for 30 yards. And St. Michael, four penalties for 15 yards. And third down conversions, this is kind of a big one. Uh, Plaquemine is four for ten on third downs, and the Warriors are three for six on third downs. And so that'll do it for the halftime statistics brought to you by our sponsors, Walk-Ons, Raising Canes, Fabcon, and Gulf Coast Bank and Trust. Thank you for your support of St. Michael High School. And so let's get a little, little halftime Analysis here, first half analysis rather. Jeff, that was a that was a, a, a crazy but exciting first half of football. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the the fireworks started early and often. I mean, we came out seven seven quickly in the first half of the first quarter, and we kind of looked at each other and said, "Hey, man, this thing's going to be a shootout." And here we are with forty nine points on the board at halftime, and it's looking like it. The Warriors are going to get the ball back here to start the second half, and. Hopefully we can get down there, put some points on the board, and put some pressure on this on this Plaquemine offense. When they've tried to throw the ball, they, they haven't been very successful. So uh, I think if we can kind of put the onus on them to kind of have to catch up, I think it, it, this bodes really well for the Warriors heading into the second half. Yeah, because, I mean, if you look at it, uh, we, we got the 
Plaquemine is doing some some pretty good work on the ground, but most of their passing has uh, has been pretty short. They're relying on some some quick hitches and some some smoke screen type plays, some wide receiver screens to try to get to, to pick up some yards after the catch. And it's nothing. The two balls they've actually tried to throw downfield have been played just just almost perfectly by the Warriors. You had Gavin Landry make a play on the far sideline, and then Hayes Marino made one here on the near sideline. Um, and 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 it's it's been a pretty good pretty good job by the Warriors on a pass defense. We've actually had a chance to get a couple of picks that have gone through the hands of a couple of defenders, but the Warriors are kind of doing it a little bit, a little bit with both. You know, it, it's kind of they've diversified a little bit. We've only thrown the ball eight times, but that's just enough to, in some cases, force Plaquemine to to kind of adjust some of what they're doing. Where early on you had just, I mean, everybody up in the box. I no mean, you had everyone basket. zero yeah. coverage. You know, they, they kind of were forced to, to change that a little bit and put back a couple safeties. We've taken advantage of some of those things. Um, you know, a couple of the penalties have kind of hurt the Warriors. There was the one personal foul face mask deal uh, on that fourth down stop when the ball went over the punter's head that, you know, gave Plackham in the ball back and, 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 and let them, you know, continue with that drive. So hopefully halftime can kind of refresh, especially the defense. Um, you know, again, we're going to probably put the, put the onus – uh, put the load on the backs of those five guys up front on the offensive line and John Martinez and Preston Centino in the backfield. I'd be interested to see if Centino maybe carries the ball, a couple maybe design run plays from Centino, maybe to give Martinez a little bit of a break. Yeah. He got a little banged up there towards the first half, towards the end of the first half. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's going to have to fall on the backs of those guys. And let's see if we can catch another couple big plays here. Uh, and, and and move forward here, man, because we're up we're up seven and we get the ball. Yeah, and I, and hopefully you know the the defensive line got a a, a much needed break during halftime. They were kind of starting to get worn out uh, towards the end of that second quarter, and they're they're going to have to come up big and stop that run on the inside. Yeah, that's, that's really where Plaquemine's been successful. Here come the St. Michael Warriors to the sideline, and I mean Warriors you know. Being in a situation, this, this is the reason why you defer. You defer for this thing right here. You know, you hope you're up at halftime. If you can get this ball, take it down, punch it in the end zone. But, look, I'm telling you, Jeff, I'm not saying this just because, you know, I'm, I'm just always throwing at it. Yeah, it can always happen. But I would I'd watch out for an onside kick yep. right here or maybe yep. some kind of pooch pooch attempt. Yeah, Plaquemines played we just, aggressive. We saw, we saw a fake yep. on the five-yard line, yep. on their own five-yard line. They played very aggressive all night. I wouldn't put it past them. So here goes, here's number 89. This is Javante Frazier. And he's going to go ahead and kick it deep. DeStefano receives it. He's going to come right up the middle. Dodges one tackle. He's going to get taken down at the 30. That's a great starting spot for the Warriors. Yeah, DeStefano has looked really comfortable ever, really ever since two weeks ago in the return game. He's first he's down, really put, down is, put together some good stuff. He had that he had that kickoff return in the in Episcopal game. That was the that was the deciding score, man. I yep. mean, that was that was huge, you know. So it, it's great to get some stuff out, some get some some positive things out of your special teams. We've been talking about that uh, all night and all year. So here comes the Warriors, two backs in the backfield, Martinez, and that's Grayson Boudreau lined up as the H back. And off up the middle, Martinez has a lot of room. Martinez breaking out, crossing the 50, the face mask. There it comes. They're going to add, tack on about 15 more yards. John Martinez with a 25-yard rumble down to the Plaquemine 45-yard line. They're going to add 15 on to it for the face mask. And good job by number 28, the New York side wide receiver, Damian Willett, holding a block pretty pretty long time out there and was able to spring Martinez for another five yards or so. All the way down to the 30-yard line of the Green Devils. First down. Well, Jeff, it's always great. You go one play from 30 to 30. I mean, you, you know, that's that's always a an awesome thing to see. Martinez powering ahead, thrown forward for five yards. 
down to the 25-yard line. And Martinez looked good on that, that play before on that long run. He, you know, good to see him back up and moving really full speed. Yeah, it looked like, he, like that halftime really kind of did him some good to, to get his legs back underneath him. They didn't get the guy off. And whistles. That should be five yards as the defensive lineman did not get off the field. Legal substitution. Another first down. Warriors going down to the 20-yard line. Hey, we'll take 20 yards worth of penalties here to start this half. So clock ticking down at 11 minutes now. Warriors already down to the 20-yard line a minute into this thing here in the second half. Martinez, Martinez going to fall forward for three. three this play. is where you almost want to see the maybe half. the Warriors go down. with some kind of play-action pass, yep. trying to get something maybe up a seam or something, see if you can get those safeties to kind of creep down in the box and, and maybe overplay it. Kristoff has been – just flying down most of the night. There's Centino, great call. Outside, he's got the corner. Touchdown, Warriors. And that is a great call, Coach. On the outside, on the, on Look, the top side of the screen, they, very, yeah, it's very one man similar. out there. It's yeah. one man out there, and it's Johnny McCarty on a guy that's smaller than him. Let let Bet on him to make the block. Let, let Centino take it to the outside and beat him with his legs. I mean, that's almost like a play-action type play. Except yeah. you're just going play-action instead of throwing, it ball, throwing the ball. You're just going – going that fake to the running back and Santino just on the keeper. He takes it in from 20 yards out. Extra point pending. It's up and it is good. Mondello's kick good with 10-28 left to go in the third. 35-21 Wallias. All right, Mondello kicking. And it's going to be kicked deep to, I believe that's Smith and uh, Joseph back deep. Coach, kind of an underrated part of this game is, is Pele being, you know, perfect on his extra point attempts. Big that, time. That, that can really Big be time. a deciding factor in this game. Now the little pop-up. It's going to come to Smith over here towards the numbers. He's going to try to bring it back towards the middle of the field. Not a bad job by the Warriors coverage team. It's taken out to the 30. They're going to spot it at the 33-yard line, 34-yard line, 34-yard line. 33-yard, I'm sorry, excuse me. So it'll be first and 10 from the 33 for the Green Devils. Remember, smash that like button, share the page. Let's try to get as many people in here watching as possible. Snap was high. That threw off the timing of that play right there. Warriors are able to get the stop, and now we got a Warrior down. I think that's Guy Woods. Looks like he's in some serious discomfort. Yeah, he's not feeling too great right there. Look like they're trying to stretch out a cramp, possibly. Coach Leger working on his leg. Now Coach Skidmore, yep, there he goes. He's popping up. A little more hydration from, for Guy Woods there. A little, a little more pre-hydration, not the hydration timeouts. <laughs> Everybody out there is probably tired of listening to me complain about the hydration timeouts. I just think it's ridiculous. This is the last week, Coach. I know. 
especially the hydration timeout directly after a timeout. That's what I'm really <laughs> talking about. To clarify my objection. Nice job by Hayden Evans to force that back. Now he's going to return, <laughs> reverse field all the way. Hudson Foreman does a great job of holding that backside. It was Hayden Evans who forced it, and he <laughs> Smith took it all the way back across the field. I think Smith was tired by the time he got back to the numbers on that side of the field. Yeah, number 10, Hudson Foreman, kind of been quiet. Third down. Kind of been quiet tonight. And when you need him most, he's, he's holding his position. Great, great tackle there. Three receivers to the near side. Coach, and this is something that the, the Green Devils have not done all year. and They've just stuck with one quarterback. I think Smith took one snap, but Victorian has been out there the entire game where they had been kind of moving back and forth between quarterbacks all year. It's pretty much been on the on the, the shoulders of Victorian. Victorian's going to try to throw here. They were looking for a double move. He's got a receiver open. McCoy's going to pick up enough for the first down. Victorian bought enough time, found McCoy for a big pickup down uh, all the way out to the 48-yard line. McCoy's definitely his favorite target. Mosby just plowing through and breaks the tackle. He's going to take that thing all the way for the 52-yard touchdown. Landry gave it all he could at the end. Mosby just slipped right through a couple tackles. I think – I think the referees missed a pretty big hold right there in the middle on Guy Woods. Guy Woods was getting just just turned in a way that you probably don't get turned unless you're getting held. But no call there. Mosby's so, played a heck of a game, Coach. I mean, he's really kept, kept his team in it. Yeah, Mosby's now over 160 yards for the evening. Oh, they hey, Nevin's coming off the edge, blocking the PAT. What a play. So that makes it with 8.19 left to go in the third. It's going to be 35-27 after a great, great play by Hayden Evans getting to that extra point. So we'll be back in just a minute. And DeStefano in naps back deep for the Warriors. Frazier. Kicks it deep. Be DeStefano again on the far hash. Keeps it out that way. Cuts it back towards the middle. He's going to get it out to the 35 and a big hit. Ball may have come free. Blackman thinks they have it. Blackman may have it. They're going to call him down. I think they, I think they ruled him down. Is I believe what they're ruling. Another he great got, return. He, he got held up and kind of got hit pretty hard right there. But I think the referees probably made the right call, and he he wasn't going anywhere. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if he fumbled or not, or maybe maybe we picked it up. I couldn't tell with the the mass of humanity over there. So it'll be first down, Wall is at the 36-yard line. Again, like you said, another good return. DeStefano bringing it out past the 30-yard line pretty much every time tonight. Still got one-on-one -on -one up top, Jeff. You've been calling yep. for that matchup all night. And that time, Martinez taken down. Looks like we got a Plackham and Cramp, maybe. Yeah, you got a Plackham player limping back towards the – towards their huddle. They got, I believe they got too many guys on the field. They brought somebody on, didn't take somebody yeah, off. Yeah, here comes number 11 now just coming off. The Warriors are also substituting too. They're going to that empty set. 
two receivers in the near side, two to the top of the screen as well with the tight end, Mariano. Nobody up top. Will it adjust his split? Santino caught pressure coming off the edge and is going to get taken down. He just didn't have enough time to find anyone. That was number 23 flying off the edge, Cameron Rogers. I mean, that's what's going to happen in that empty set. You're just going to probably send the house. I think if they just set up some some kind of fade out to that to the top side right there, I think that that might be their best their best option into the boundary when you get that that big pressure look in that empty set. Third and really long now. Handoff to Martinez. They're just going to try to get back a few yards. It'll be fourth down. Be fourth down for the Warriors. They're going to bring out the punt unit. Ball is at the 32. Back deep is number 20, Dejon Baloney. Kind of a line drive kick that's going to check up. Good play Willett's going to down it at the 30. Eight-yard line. It'll be first down. Plackman right there. We'll take a quick timeout. It's the Warrior Broadcast Network. It'll be first and ten for the Green Devils on their own 38-yard line. All right. All right. We are back. Warrior defense back out there. Here they go. Running that power play again that's been so successful all night. Bell on the tackle, just a couple of yards. Picked up about three, second and seven. And we're at that six minute hydration timeout. And here we go, we'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, this hydration timeout is brought to you by Walk On. Hydration timeout. It'll be second down. Seven to go. All right, we're back off that hydration timeout of the third quarter. Third down, or second down, seven, correction. Another quick hitter. McCoy gets taken down. Nice tackle right there. Hayden Evans got down around his legs and wrapped him up. So it's going to be third. They're going to give them the, the 45. It's going to be third and three at the 45. Handoff. Little counter play. Mosby's going to have enough. Mosby on the carry. Yeah, just got there. Nose of the football. They're going to go it's back to moving now, fast. Warrior Tempo. Man. Correction. First down. Toss outside, Joseph drops the ball, picked out, it's good! Hudson Foreman picks it up! He's gonna take it down all the way to the 10 yard line! Ball was caught by Joseph and knocked away. Foreman picked it up, takes it all the way down to the 10 yard line. Hudson Foreman again with the scoop on the fumble recovery. Now we got a referee Discussion over there, meeting of the zebras. That's never a good thing. Hopefully they're not they gonna might, try to they might rule this. They might rule this thing, no catch. They might rule it incomplete. Or is there a flag on the play? There's a flag. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna keep it right as it is. Turnover stands. 
And Hudson Foreman, man, coming up big when you need him. We just brought it up a couple plays ago. He's been kind of quiet tonight. He's coming up with a big big tackle on the backside of the field, and now here he is with the scoop. I, I know it was Gavin Landry hit him so first, but I, I couldn't tell whether it was Landry or, or maybe Foreman himself that came in and actually knocked that thing out. Three receivers near side, one to the top of your screen. You got that one-on-one -on -one we've been talking about all day, Jeff, at the top. Yep. Johnny McCarty, big-bodied receiver. Pantino changing the play. Plenty of time on the play clock. They're going to run the option, the pitch. Martinez drops it, and that will be Plackham and Ball. Yeah, and we had just talked about it, Coach, that they had been working on the speed option in practice this week, and we hadn't seen it. They come out running it to the left. Yeah, Santino's weak hand and kind of tries to give it a two-handed shovel, and it just had a little too much mustard on it. Yeah, hit Martinez in the hands, and he couldn't, couldn't come up with it, couldn't hold it. So it'll be a back-to-back -back turnovers on plays here. Did flip the field for us, though. Yeah, the ball will be down at the 10-yard line, so deep in, ter deep in uh, Green Devil territory. We have an injury, so we'll take an injury timeout. This is the way broadcast network. All right, it'll be Plackham and Ball at the 10. Did you catch who that injury injured player was? I, I didn't. I couldn't catch from, from over here who the injured player was for Plackham and didn't catch. Hand off inside. Warriors ripping at the football. The ball might have come free. Oh, they're, they're going to say he's down. That's Dawson now in the backfield. It's kind of been a, a back and forth between Dawson and Smith, or uh, Dawson and Mosby in the backfield. Dawson again. All the way out to the 25, across to the 26. Dawson, another six yards on that carry. Now the little hang screen, nice play by Landry. Yeah, Landry and Evans all night have had great breaks on these screens. Yeah, they tried the little hang screen, little bubble to the wide side of the field. Nothing doing. Big third down and three. Hand off right up the middle, and Mosby's going to get it. Whenever they've needed big, yard, big tough yards, they've gone to Mosby. And we got a player down. Cramp. Cramp. I believe that's Hayden Evans. You got a couple Warriors just kind of hunched over, sucking wind right there on, on defense. So we'll take a quick uh, timeout. We'll be back. This is the Way Broadcast Network.
Warriors fans, let's hear it for number three, Hayden Evans. And it's Hayden Evans, ladies and gentlemen. Walking off on his own power, thank goodness. It'll be a first down for the Green Devils. Ball will be placed on their own 38-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 at the 38 for Plackman on the roll or on the move here after the back-to-back -back turnovers, stack set. Handoff right up the middle, Mosby again. Oh, it's just been Mosby all night long. Yeah, two really good tailbacks on this game between Mosby and Martinez. They've both been kind of bell cow tonight, and both are holding up. Something I've been really impressed with and hadn't really said this uh, tonight is the, the Plaquemine offensive line has not moved an inch. They've done a great job of their discipline. Marino misses the tackle out there, gives McCoy enough room to pick up another first down. Evans going to come back on the field. And the, the Plaquemine throwing game really hasn't. And there goes Joseph down. So another man down on the field. We'll take a brief timeout. 2-12 left to go in the third. Here for number 17, Aiden Joseph. All right, we are back off the injury timeout. Aiden Joseph getting up off the ground. There goes for that. It's that hydration during the week, Jeff, that you need to have, not the hydration during the game. Yep, it's all about preparation, Coach. If you're thirsty, you're wrong. Yes. Where did that sagely advice come from? Paul Varnado, uh, hip shrug, hydrate. Oh, no Vito. Ball taken out to the 45, so pick up of about three. Second and seven. Nice job, Gavin Knapps in the backfield. Knapps did a great, really, really good job right there of making sure that Victorian didn't pull it and then had enough to just get down the line and make that tackle for a short game. So third and long now, third and six. Warrior crowd making some noise, getting behind their team. The freeze play, Warriors hold. Great, really, really nice job by the Warriors not to bite on that one again. Victorian hands off Dawson on the cutback. Nap, naps again. And you do it one more time. The, the Green Devils are going to have to snap it before the end of the quarter. 
the play clock. Is about a second ahead. Victorian's gonna put it up. Naps has him. The throw, oh, it's a fumble. Pick it up. Turnover on downs either way. Let's see what. Let's see what the call is gonna be. Whether they're gonna call that a lateral. Jeff, you could. I, it maybe looked kind of like a ladder. I think he might have thrown that ball forward. Yeah. I and in that case, that's a intentional grounding, so it should be from that spot. The Warriors should get extra yardage, but they, they're not going to throw the penalty right there. No, they're just going to. I think they're going to call it. The, they're going to call it the lateral. I believe. No, they're going to do the incomplete pass. Then it's intentional grounding. It'll yeah. The then it's intentional grounding because it, there's nobody there. It can't be an incomplete pass without it being intentional grounding. And he was trying to throw box. it to the line. He was he was trying to throw to a lineman. Don't get it. It it has to be an intentional grounding. He's trying like there's no eligible receiver there. It, it's either got to be a fumble or an intentional grounding. He's trying to throw it to the lineman. I just don't understand. But hey, you know. That that particular call just is one of the 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 most interesting calls that you're gonna get. It's it's the most inconsistent call. Martinez, not a lot of room there. He's only picking up two. The Green Devils are really, really, really concentrating down on Martinez now. But that'll be it. Triple zeros here at the end of the third. Your score, Warriors 35, Green Devils 27. We'll be back after this quick timeout. And we are back, beginning of the fourth quarter. Centino, Landry in motion. They're going to fake it. Centino's going to keep it up the middle. Not a whole lot there. He's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Blackman has really, really, really just clamped down on the Warrior running game on the last couple of series. Hasn't been a whole lot of room at all for the Warriors to maneuver. Here goes zero coverage now. Warriors going two receivers each side. You got man-to-man -man -man coverage across the board right now. Little uh, interesting switch right here. McCarty is in the slot with DeStefano now playing the outside receiver. He's going to have to get rid of this quickly. The fade. McCarty with the catch. First down, Warriors. And that's exactly what they were doing, Coach. They move him to the slot to just try to get him a favorable match up there. And McCarty, the big body, strong wide receiver, we made him saw him last week make two great mid-air adjustments, and there he just is like again. That. Just there like he is that. Just like that. Let's see if they come back to that if they get a little closer to the goal line and try to get him in the end zone. The Warriors first down to the 37. Centino's going to fake it, going to try to get back up the middle. He's going to fight forward for yardage. You better hold on to that football. Powers it ahead to pick up five yards out to the 32-yard line, second and five at the Green Devil 32. This is a really, really important drive right here, Jeff. You, you got an opportunity. You know, you really want to punch it in the end zone, but if you can – Get it close enough for a field goal opportunity. There's you go up two touch. scores. There's the freeze. Yep. Move the chains. Shivering up in the booth. 
Yeah, hey, look, it's it's a it's a it's an ice out tonight for the students. That yep. was that's the theme for tonight. We iced them right there. That should be enough for a first down. Let's see. Offside. On the yeah, it's pretty obvious offsides. Speaking of ice out, first down, Warriors. I've seen in the student section some awesome looking blue St. Michael Warriors seaside themed t-shirts that they're selling online right now. Go to SMHSBR.org. Oh man, I, I, I didn't see that. Oh, beautiful, I'll show you after the game. Awesome. Yeah, the Warrior Club trying to step their game up with the merch. Martinez has room! Oh, 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 the turf monster again at the 15 yard line. Got him, oh my God. He had it, he was taking it to the house. The turf monster strikes it. It's that, it's it's that, that part of the field, of the Jeff. Field. You're it's right. that part of the field. Between the 15 and 25 on this side of the field, the it turf just, monster resides. I mean, he is just gobbling things up. Whistle. It's going to be second down and about one. Let's see what's going on here. Not sure exactly. Uh, no, no timeout. What was that? Uh, just a, a whistle coming from the side judge on the Plaquemine side. Attention to the Plaquemine band. While St. Michael has the ball, you are asked to please stop playing. Thank you. <laughs> per the officials. Interesting. That's interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Good ad by Billy there to say per the officials. He almost got booed off from the other side of the field. They're doing it again. And That's a flag. It is. And the Plaquemine coach is going to be unhappy. Our coaching staff saying play on, play on. Yeah, Coach Langlois doing a little, doing a little dance down there. Yep. He loves it. Keep on playing. Look, I think it's firing our guys up, man. I'll be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, they love it. Johnny McCarty's getting down out there, getting his homecoming moves ready. Hey, homecoming's in two weeks, man. You gotta start getting your uh, getting your swag on. Let's see what's gonna happen. I mean, this is I, this is interesting. I've never heard it, that. This is yeah, I've never Have heard you, that either. I mean, that's like that's. I can't wait to see Side what Sideline warning on St. Michael? No, on Plaquemine. Plaquemine. I can't wait to see what Doc Andrew comes back with. I mean, I haven't really been I haven't really been taken really been paying attention to our band playing while their offense was on the field and so I just I haven't been paying attention to that. Our whole band's lot. been playing while our all while our offense is on the field. Yeah. Coach Holmes says, never mind, Turf Monster is the MVP. <laughs> he could be. He, he, he literally took away a touchdown right there. Second and one. <laughs> Our executive producer, Ms. Brittany Watkins, says she can agree with that, Coach Holmes. Turf Monster is the MVP. Martinez should have enough for a first down right there. Whistles all over the place. Some of our guys are trying to call for a flag. It, it's just, they're not going to call a flag on that. First down, Warriors. And John Martinez being really smart about it. You notice that two hands on the football going through the middle of the offensive line. He, he said, we're, we're knocking on heaven's door. I'm not turning this football over. He had a big fumble last week inside, deep inside Warrior territory. And, and he has, from that point on, been – Securing it with two hands. Jeff, you got at that matchup up top again, man. We've just been talking yeah. about that all day long. This might be a, a, a opportunity to try that. They're going to keep it in Martinez's hands. He gets to the outside. Gets to the 15. The Good block by Gavin Landry. No, they're going to give him the – they're going to give him the 14. It'll be second and eight. Coach, we got uh, 
189 on the stream. Is that right? That's what I'm showing 140, on my 146 I'm showing right here. 152 now. We've had 468 total views tonight. That's great. Let's get them likes up. Hit that, smash that like button. We only got 19 right now. Share it. Santino with the fake. Just hang on to that football right now. So it'll be third and third and ten. It was a loss of yardage. Yep, and here it is. We got McCarty on the McCarty near side. switching to the boundary side now. They're Landry to the up. field side. Coach Leje is going over to the side judge. He might be calling a timeout right here. It's a big third down for the Warriors. Think about it. They're going to want to think about it. They're showing the – Plaquemine showing the pressure. So, we'll take a timeout with them. This is the Warrior Broadcast Network. We are back. Big third down here for the Warriors. Zero coverage. Centino going to throw it to the corner. Landry's waiting. Incomplete pass. Trying to call for a potential interference. They're not going to get it. Don't know if there was a whole lot of contact right there. Yeah, and I think what Centino saw was that that guy was – that linebacker was a little late getting over there to guard Gavin in the slot and just kind of thought he had an advantage there going on a corner route. Lost yeah, it out there, a little too much air. Not a terrible decision. Mondello is going to line up for a 38-yard field goal here. Ball spotted at the 28 on the hold. Snap. It's good. It's up. Come on. It's good. 38-27 with 6.55 left to go in the game. Warriors up 11. We'll be back. So after the Mondello 34-yard field goal, makes it 38-28. Mondello now set to kick off high in the air. Joseph is going to return it. Swarmed over by several Warriors out to the 30, 32-yard line. We have a injury timeout again. But, Jeff, we, I mean, we're just – we just talked about that just a little while ago, and I think you had mentioned it uh, earlier that, you know, a, a big big point in this game was that Mondello had made all his his extra points up to this point. We get the big block extra point. 
and Mondello just drilled the 34-yarder. And so now it's a it's a it's a two-score game, but Plaquemine not only has to get a touchdown, they got to get the two-point conversion and a field goal to, to tie it. Uh, don't know Number what their field goal situation is. I, I Frazier seems to have a pretty decent leg. I watched during pregame, and, and he was he was hitting them from 30, 35. Yeah, he's, he's got he, a little window. Probably got a little It'll bit of a window of, of about a about a 30 yarder or so. Um, but they got to put two scores on the board here with 648. You know, if you're the Warriors, if you're gonna let them, if you're gonna if they're gonna score, make them make them take a little time off the clock. But the, the Green Devil offense has been moving fast. I think they've kind of found an identity, which is something that I notice on film. They hadn't really found that identity up until this point. But they've rode with Victorian, and he's done a pretty good job. And there's a tackle for maybe very little gain and another cramp. That's Bryce Richard this time. So now it's just the it's just, we're in the, the alternating cramp stage of this of this ball game. Yeah, it's a little reminiscent. I think that was maybe that was two weeks ago here at Olympia where we were just it was cramp every play. Yeah. Against uh against Bel Air. Yep. So it's gonna be Blaine Rodriguez gonna go in to play a little defensive end for Bryce Richard. As I don't see Coach Skidmore out there. I'm not sure where she's at. <laughs> Ron Swanson, I can always count on you for a good one in the chat. Comedic relief. Senior, number 35, Bryce Richard. Richard gets up, coming off the field. He's he's okay. He's just cramping up. It'll be second down. Look, there, there's the argument for uh, potentially out, having a couple of athletic trainers. You had Coach Skidmore over here taking care of something else while you had, you know, Coach Leger having to go out there. You know, you, you know having another trainer would be a fantastic thing. Mosby hit hard. He's going to pick up about four. He's going to bring up a third and six. Bell and Foreman combine on the stop. Trips receivers to the top. Single receiver to the near side. Victorian with Mosby. They're going to throw the little spot pass outside and not going to be enough. He's going to come up about a yard shy. I think that was number 20 on the reception, Dejon Baloney. Good job by, by Hayden Evans there to force him back and, inside. And we're going to have hydration timeout here. This is one of those one of those opportunities where the hydration timeout is, comes at a really nice time with a fourth and short. It'll give the Warriors time to talk about it a little bit on defense of what they want to do. If I'm if I'm Coach Gidry, I gotta believe they're probably going to put this in the hands of. Fans, of Mosby. Yeah. Mosby's been the guy they've given the ball to whenever they need the tough yardage, and he's been able to been able to pick it up. I notice on his lat, no, nope, they're going to take him out, and Dawson's coming in. Because I notice on the last carry by Mosby, he was moving a little bit slower. And Dawson may have a little bit fresher legs. High snap! Yeah! Hitting the backfield! But he breaks out of it! Warriors rally to it! Great job by the Warrior defense to hold them. Was that Hayden Evans and then Knox Poirier on the cleanup? I believe so. Gotta I think it was. It. I think it was Gavin Knapps that got in there first, and then. We got water bottles flying all around in in the press box now. 548 left to go in the ball game. Warriors have it up 38-27. The ball is at the Plaquemine 39 yard line after a huge, huge fourth down stop. Coach Gidry's all fired up on the sideline, man. And up two scores. You just want to eat this clock. Handoff Martinez trying to get outside. Gonna get drugged down and slammed into the ground. Number 23. Cameron Rogers. 
They just couldn't quite get the block on Rodgers. That's a loss of four yards going the wrong direction. Warriors going with a little overload set now. This is an interesting look from the Warriors. Haven't seen this much. Santino is going to keep it back up the middle. Is going to get back to, I believe, the original line of scrimmage. Pile up. I mean, those whistles are a little bit late right there. Yeah, especially when you're talking about your, your starting quarterback in the middle of that pile. Well, You'd like to see that I mean, blown down a little earlier. It was just about everybody on the field was involved in that pile up right there. I mean, that wasn't going anywhere. Clock ticking down under 440. Warriors in no hurry on this third and 10. You'd like to get maybe a few more yards here to give yourself a, a more manageable fourth down attempt. And you're probably out of field goal range at this point. Martinez breaks through! Martinez, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Warriors! John Martinez takes it in from 39 yards out. That's going <laughs> to – that splits it wide open, Coach. John Martinez. He makes it 44-27 with 4.08. The turf monster didn't get him that time. Coach Holmes, the MVP of the day, the turf monster didn't get him. I think we just saw a new MVP of the game today. Mondello up and good. good. Third with 4.08 left to go. Your score, Warriors 45. Green Devils 27. We'll be back. And we are back. Mondello has it teed up. 4.08 left. Warriors up now by 18. Man, we got, we got parents crying in the stands. I mean, this is just electric. Ball's kicked back via touchback. Mondello feeling it, baby. Pele. Green Devils will get the ball. Who's running our special teams right now? Coach Lazy, man. I mean, unbelievable stuff. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Special teams making the difference all year, man. Re all year long, it's it's been the it's been the difference from field goals to kickoff returns to punt blocks to I mean, touchbacks. Empty set now from. The Green Devils, they're now going to be forced to do something they probably don't want to do a whole lot of, and that is try to put the ball in the air a lot. Thrown well short of the receiver, Joseph. They ran two verticals out of the, the number number two and number three spot of the slot, and Joseph just ran sort of a, a spot. He didn't even move. And Victorian came up about a good two yards short of him. So back in the backfield now, that's Dawson. Into the middle of the line, Dawson bounces it back outside. Dude, that was a heck of a job right there from, I think that was Hayden Evans to just really kind of create a pile as Dawson was trying to cut back and he wasn't able to get out outside and around. So it's third and eight. Coach Holmes says this is awesome, Jeff. It absolutely is. 
This is fantastic. McCoy on the reception. Oh! Falls out! Recovered by the Warriors! Grayson Boudreaux falls on it. Hayes Marino rips it out. The Warriors come up with another, another big play. Man, and, and that got Coach Gidry so fired up. He was doing chest bumps on the field. You got to love it. Now the Zebra meeting again. This is never a good thing. That, that's a fumble. That's pretty clear. If the first one was a fumble, that one is a fumble. War ball, Warriors, first down. So the slant was caught by McCoy, and Marino just stuck with it, ripped it out. And Grayson Boudreaux, Johnny on the spot, picks it up. Ball's at the 34-yard line. Warriors have it with 328 left in the game, up 45-27. And they got that turnover belt ready for, for Grayson as soon as he gets over there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that turnover belt's been getting a workout so far this year. Twenty-one personnel. Martinez, Martinez just up the middle, gains a couple. It's not so much the yardage at this point. It's all about those numbers on that clock, and they are just a ticking away. Just gonna grind down to the end of this ball game. And man, coach, this just. As an I, alumni, man, it's just special. I mean, this team has been just awesome to watch all season long. The fan support's been incredible. This is just, this is awesome stuff. Oh, this is just absolutely incredible. An absolute joy to watch Martinez all together. Martinez carries it out to just over the 30, down to the 29. Third down. Third down, and about five for the Warriors. So I think we can start kind of looking towards next week as the Warriors will make the long journey up to St. Francisville next Thursday for another district game, playing the West Feliciana Saints at their place. We will be there bringing you the action as the Warriors will be looking to go, Jeff, I mean, to be able to say this Martina is just incredible, to be looking to go 6-0 and on the season. Yeah, and heading up to. We kind of talked about it, Coach. This is the, this is the tricky part of the schedule for us, these, these next two games coming up and this game that you just played. And so, you know, not to look ahead, but. This no, is, well, this, this is really, really exciting. Yeah, this, this, this is the one right here that 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 you kind of had to have to really get things going. You go you go into a uh, to a little bit different week. I mean, it's going to change up the Warriors' schedule going for a Thursday game. Then they're going to have another Thursday game for homecoming against McKinley. It's kind of strange to have a Thursday homecoming game, but that's just kind of how it how it fell out and planned out this year. Uh, timeout is called, but we'll stick right here. I mean, we could go a, a whole number of places with a lot of this stuff, but uh, the Warriors just all three phases came out tonight with just great game plans. You know, early on the Warriors had some, some really nice play calls on offense. The defense looked like they were breaking. And then here in the second half, man, I mean, we gave up that one score, and just ever since then, it's just been flying to the ball, forcing turnovers, making big plays, just just all over the place for the Warriors. It's going to be fourth and one. Warriors are going to go for it as Plackman is now sending guys on and off. I don't know if they I don't know if they know what they're doing out there. So Warriors with Marino at tight end to the near side. Two backs in the backfield. Warriors are going to let that clock, that play clock tick, getting the right play call, try to see if they can find an advantage somewhere. 
You know, the Green Devils are just stacked all in the box. Martinez is going to have enough first down, Warriors, and that's going to be your ball game right there. Victory V. I mean, I think we can agree that that Martinez is going to go ahead and uh, go down as our our MVP of the game today. Just workhorse. Yep. And tonight. I hope I hope Coach Reagan Skidmore gets the ice bath ready for him because that is uh, that is he's going to be bruised up in the morning. Look, I know I know his sister Anna's listening out there. Anna, tell your mom and dad don't wake that boy up till like noon tomorrow, man. Let him sleep. He earned it. Defensively, I think I think you know this is one of those games where you you gotta you gotta just give it to. I think Hayden Evans played a really good ball game tonight. Maybe he didn't get the tackle numbers that some of the other guys have. Maybe he didn't come up with a with a fumble recovery, but he made a lot of really 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 good plays out there for the Warrior defense tonight, uh, and just overall. Jeff, I can't say enough, man. I just, I, I'm look. I've known, I've known Coach Lege for a long time. I've known Coach Lege since he was he was in middle school. Ooh. We go back a long ways, back to the days of of St. Jude over there off of Highland Road, and I can't be more excited for him. Uh, you know, and and him and his coaching staff going five and zero for the first time since 2014, getting only the second ever victory against Plaquemine. In, in what was kind of a dominant, dominant game. I mean, I, I just, I can't say enough. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy for these guys. I'm so happy for those players, you know, knowing a lot of these guys, uh, you know, knowing that, that they put in a lot of hard work. And look, the coaches said they were ready for this game, and they were ready. And that'll do it. Your final score here from Brex Olympia Stadium, Warriors 45, Green Devils 27. So, Jeff, we'll be back on the air on Thursday up in St. Francisville. So, join us then. But for now, I want to thank Nick Drez on the camera, our executive producer, Miss Brittany Watkins, for myself, Coach Craig Saylor, for my partner, Jeff Vaccaro. We want to wish you, as always, good night, God bless, and go Warriors!